I'm Anthony Mackey. This is everything I do in a day. I wake up at 5 a.m. I wake up to Beyonce. I do, I love Beyonce. She makes me strong. She's my spirit animal. The first thing I do in the morning is 100 push-ups. Second thing I do in the morning is brush my teeth. Don't ask me what the third thing is. <laughs> <laughs> like a gangster. My morning <laughs> are stupid. And this. I told you don't ask me what the third thing was. I said that. Always shower after you shit. Get you ready for your day. Trust me. I have a gangster shower. Designed it myself. I'm pretty proud of it. I have the uh, Kohler temperature setting, different settings, mechanical joint. So I got like six jet heads and one rain spout, but then I got the steamer. So I put the steam on, get it right while I'm getting undressed. I oil before I shower so that the skin can soak up the oil with the mist. I'm in there like I'm Farrah Fawcett, you know what I mean, getting it right bubbles and then my shower has like aromatherapy so i put the tea tree oil in there and the steam comes out with tea tree oil in it sometimes i'll put a nice lavender it's nice tulip oil it's nice glam routine is i put on my uh, age defying moisturizer from kiehl's with my eye unpuffy moisturizer that they told me to put on because it'll make me look younger. Then I've recently discovered beard oil. I oil my beard and exfoliate. And then I put on a little SPF 15 in my T-zone and my forehead to stop from wrinkling. Put the pomade on the waves, get it tight, brush them down. Then I give my man some love, a little powder, bang, bang. Then I'm good to go. Don't ask me, don't ask, I'm being honest. Don't blame a brother for being honest. Everybody powder their man, bang, bang. Y'all don't powder y'all man? You live in LA, homie. Start powdering your man. <laughs> he need love too. I check my phone periodically. I technically never have my phone on me. I'm not a phone dude. Uh, that's why I don't social media. Once every two hours, I'll go see yo, what's up? Venmo all day, cause the cash do be coming in, know that. My uh, Litecoin app to see where my Litecoin at, cause I don't trust Bitcoin. Litecoin forever. My cameras at my house, see what's going on at the house, see if the raccoon's back. It's an ordeal. The possums, the raccoons, it's a fight. They're gangster. If it's fantasy season, I check my fantasy app. Gotta make trades in the off season. I'm a like t-shirt under armor kind of dude. Uh, so I usually just throw on a tee, some sweats or some shorts, depending on how hot it is. If it's cold, I go gangster, layers. T-shirt, button-up sweater, with the compression pants, with the jeans, with the boots, after putting on the double-layered socks. That's tube socks plus footies. I like footies. For breakfast, I usually do steel-cut oats, no fruit, sugar content's too high. I'll just boil those, do them with a little bit of almond milk. That's it, little uh, acai, boom, just one scoop. Scoop of protein, boom. Enough carbs, enough proteins, enzymes are correct. Fuel me for the next three hours. That's the breakfast I have every day. When I get up, I hit the gym first, about 7.30, 8 o'clock. I run four miles to the gym, get in, I'm already warm from the jog, 30 minutes of legs, then we move on to other places. That's why I powder my man. Bang, bang! Monday is chest and tribe. Tuesday will be back and biceps. Every day you hit abs for 20 minutes, and then Wednesday would be legs and shoulders, burn them out, start the routine over Thursday. From the gym, I go to the house. When I'm not working, I build houses. Right now, my thing is stained glass. If you stay in a Mackey house, you'll see a beautiful piece of stained glass in the living room, in the bedroom. I'll make a little stained glass piece and stick it in the wall. You always snack. I always keep a bowl of almonds, unsalted, or boiled peanuts. In New Orleans, you can get boiled peanuts. They put them in seasoning and pepper, and there's usually some old dude on the side of the street selling them. Just snack on those all day. Or a pickled piglet is the best thing on earth. If you're from the South, you with me. If you're not, you suck. It's my creature comfort. Brings me to my youth. Or some hog head cheese. I call that redneck pate. I think it's dope. I know what hog head cheese and pate are. With me, kid. I usually eat every three, three and a half hours. So around 11, I'll snack, 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 eat around 11, 12. Little sauteed spinach tuna medley. A little bit of brown rice, half a cup of brown rice, salt and pepper, paprika, little Tony Sacheran, that's what we do. Boom. 
That's my typical lunch. I do fish for lunch. In the afternoon, I usually do something involving sheetrock. I put my dues on other projects and I do the little stuff. Installing cabinets, cutting granite, uh, putting in flooring, uh, hanging doors, sheetrock taping, floating, priming, sanding. But when I'm unemployed, I'm doing man stuff. I'm no longer getting my nails done and going to the spa. I like to go to the spa. So if I'm in LA, I'll go down to Koreatown. I'm there all day. Koreans do it when it comes to the spa, y'all. There's one spot, it's a spa with Korean barbecue. And I'm like, these motherfuckers have broke the matrix. How, do, how can you get Korean barbecue and a massage? You win. But that's only when I'm working. That only happens when I come out to LA. I don't do that nowhere else. You don't do that in New Orleans. So on Friday, I do my cheap. Around six o'clock, I leave home, walk to the quarter, hit Porter Call, get me a Huma Huma, leave Porter Call, go around to my Cuban spot, get my mojito, leave there, go get my daiquiri from New Orleans original daiquiri, house special 64 ounce, know that. Stop at my cigar spot on Canal, get a cigar, then I go get me some pho from Namiz, my man Andrew. After that, we hitting the couch or playing with the kids. I'm usually, after that, I'm messing with the kids, doing homework before bed and stuff. Get the kids their juice, turn on the TV, watch a little uh, Cartoon Network, watch a little PJ Mask. PJ Mask go off, it's bedtime. Kids in the bed for 8.30. That's when Daddy Mac come out, start yelling. When Daddy Mac comes out, everybody's in trouble. So when I say go to bed, they go to bed. You don't go to bed, I'ma hug and kiss you until you go to bed. So they just run and get in the bed. Reverse psychology. Turn on Hallmark Channel, watch Frasier, which comes on right after Golden Girls. Depends on if I can stay up for Frasier, but usually the Golden Girls do the trick. Dorothy and Blanche, that's my booze. I watch the Hallmark Channel. I don't care, I love it. You make quality programming. I can't wait to be in one of your movies. Yeah, I'm an early sleeper. For me, it's usually about nine o'clock, 9.30. I have one of those uh, old people mattresses that do that, that you see on the commercials. And yo, if you have not been in one of those tempur joints that bend like that with the remote control, you're sleeping wrong. I put a six inch memory foam on top of that dog, strap it in, got the nice comforter. I sleep naked. I have nice sheets, Egyptian cotton. I don't want nothing between me and my sheets. They're nice. I got like the three rows of pillows with the little circular pillow in the middle. It's gangster. Turn on Golden Girls. Yo, you can't mess with it. Yeah, I met Betty White once. I'm not gonna say what she said because in 2019, you can't say that to people anymore. Let's just say she really thought I was cute. <laughs> I'll just say that. I'm Anthony Mackie and this is what I do in a day. <laughs>